uh, you have been, <coughs> like you say, on a zillion albums now, by now. <laughs> so let's talk recording now. Okay. Let's, you are one of the guys to talk about that. Okay. Too. Um, there's different aspects of recording, of course. Mm -hmm. There's the instruments, which we've just covered. And I understand you feel that your kids now, your Thomas, mm -hmm. give you enough, you know, uh, the arsenal is enough for uh, the studio. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And the cymbals. Yeah. Uh, but there's also the technical aspects, mm -hmm. like, you know, like the modern mm -hmm. studio technology, the copy-paste, mm -hmm. the Pro Tools and things. Yeah. What do you think about that? Are you a whole take guy when recording? <coughs> Or do you record in segments? Do you think it's a tool like any other? Or do you think it actually takes away from the feel of the music? You know, uh, I think uh, the, uh, the musical world uh, started to turn towards the, uh, the digital recording technique uh, first because of, of, uh, of the money, for sure. So nowadays to 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 do a, a professional recording i mean and i mean i mean what is the the, the 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 professional recording but if i if i have a pro tools on my laptop and i have some some good microphones and i have a a, a nice audio uh, interface in a nice room i i can i can do a recording uh, uh, f uh, 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 by well, I know a couple of of uh, thousand US dollars, uh, including every everything, laptop, yeah. the program, the microphones, and everything. So uh, I think that's why most most of the most of the the musicians try to try to try to record. Uh, their album in the kitchen, you know, mm -hmm. with some mi some some microphones. Of course, the result is not the same. Uh, the other end is if you if we if we look at an old Studer tape tape recorder, which is huge, which which the the, the size is just 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 like this whole this uh, this uh, this whole wall. Mm -hmm. There are three buttons. Um, only the yellow one to stop, yeah. a green one to play, and and red one to record. That's it. But the speed is different depending on how much actually tape you have on the reel. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Yeah, you you had to buy the the tape, which is not cheap, uh, and uh, and the two inches tape. I th I think the maximum length is uh, forty minutes or thirty five minutes. I'm not, I'm not sure, but usually they changed. Change the, the the tapes in in every twenty minutes, and it 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 costs it, it costs a lot uh, a lot of money. Plus, you 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 can do like 40, 50 recording uh, 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 for uh, in in uh, in one tape. Yeah. Then then you will have problems uh, be, uh, because there will be stretching. So yeah. so so that's why they have to change. And the price of of only one tape like this one, <coughs> which which can record, for example, 24 or 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 32 tracks. Let me see. Um, I know it in Hungarian foreign, but in US dollars, um, I, I I checked a couple of weeks before, I, mm -hmm. but the price is just for fun. Uh, yeah. I, I, I just wanted to wanted to receive some information. It was like, uh, let let me see. It's like. Uh, I guess like 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 uh, 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 twenty five thousand US dollars or thirty thousand US dollars. That was the price. Yeah. So, so and that's that's ju just a tape. No program. No 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 nothing. You 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 even have to buy microphones. You 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 have to buy a mixing console because it because it's it's not possible to to uh, plug to to plug it into the to the tape. Yeah. So it costs a lot of money. Also if 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 you if you want to do a recording session for example in in new york the the better studios start uh, uh, cost like three hundred dollars per hour uh, including the the, uh, the sound guy uh, of course yeah. but it's but it's still you know three hundred dollars is uh, uh, the most of the musical project have no budget for that so i think this is the reason but 
of course uh, uh, returning back uh, to the quality it's it's no no question the tape the tape recording is it's way way better mm -hmm. than any other digital even if if we if the digital uh, technology is growing and 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 and, and growing but but still uh, uh, the analog, uh, the the analog is analog. So yeah. So yeah. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. yeah, but for the reasons you've just mentioned, you also yeah. record digital. Yeah. But uh, are you? You can use this tool differently, right? In many yeah. different ways. Yeah. Um, depending, obviously, on the project. If it's a fusion kind of like a jazz yeah. thing, you probably record in whole takes. Yeah. You don't punch in that much and things like that. No, no, really. But if it's a slightly <coughs> more like you know pop oriented thing mm -hmm. or something, yeah, do you do that then? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I uh, I did several different pop uh, pop pop rock and funk uh, uh, funk recordings. Yeah, that's 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 different. I mean, uh, <coughs> there was several times the situation when they asked me to to play just one 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 groove constantly during eight an eight bar phrase or or a sixteen bar phrase, and then I had to play some fills, and I had to play only eight eight notes on the right symbol, mm -hmm. and eight notes with the with the cup like like right. one and two and three and four, and then they used these 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 little slices. Uh, and and put it into the, the the music which which contains a drum machine program and any other loops and any other uh, arpeggios from different yeah. instruments. That's that's absolutely fine. But you know, I I got an invitation a couple of years before uh, for an album which was recorded in an, an an old old Hungarian studio, which was was huge, and they uh, they still use a tape 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 recording uh, and. Uh, I, d I I I got a couple of tunes uh, 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 by email, and I learn learned the tunes, and I I went to the studio and and we started to recording, and I I did the first take which was okay, but I I did two two uh, two mistakes, I wanted to uh, to uh, to start to play on the right symbol earlier a little bit, and also there was a feeling at the end and and ending which which I wanted to to change, and I asked the <coughs> the sound guy first. Uh, just like a digital uh, routine, you know, like like could we change only these four 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 measures of of the first part and and these two mm -hmm. measures from uh, from 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 the very 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 ending because I fucked up something, and he said no no it's not possible it's 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 tape and I said yes <laughs> I I have to play the whole tune from the top to the end no chance to, just just like a live concert it's not possible to hey stop i'm gonna play these two these two two uh, bars okay one right. two three one, it's correction uh, that's it yeah. okay we can we can continue the concert right. so that was great to feel like 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 that's that's still a still a still still a, a big challenge to mm. to uh, to play something that was yeah. a great a great feeling but but also when i when i do uh do some this kind of of, uh, of drum and bass jungle recordings, uh, of where what I played played today in the clinic, this kind of music. I, I mean, it's 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 not necessary to to record uh, the the tune from the from the from the very very top to the very beginning uh, uh, for one session because 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 uh, uh, for that kind of of uh, of, uh, of music, it's it's great to great to hear. Uh, different effects on the drums in every eight eight uh, eight bars, or different type of grooves, or different type of filters on the drums. So we we do usually like like I I play uh, one take with, with with one type of thing, and then I uh, and then I I play another take with different symbol with different snare drum with different and then we later we can decide like 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 which sound will uh, will will fit with fit perfectly into that part and this part and this part mm -hmm. so so the result of this recording it contains ma ma many many takes but it, but it's 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 no it's normal in that kind of music but also the other end which is a, a kind of New York ru a routine, like uh, when, for example, a jazz trio uh, uh, goes into the studio to to record something together. They uh, they uh, don't uh, don't use even any any uh, any 
post mixing or something so they re they record uh, the uh, they are the, the albums to 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 uh, to to, uh, to that tape you know mm -hmm. uh, which is a digital tape but only two two uh, two uh, two two tracks just like a stereo so so they they uh, they do a sound check with the mixing console and 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 they and 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 they make a perfect the perfect balance of the, of the drums and the and for example the double bass and the, and the piano and 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 then boom recording and if you, if you play louder uh, the recording will be louder if 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 someone plays uh, uh, plays softer there will be softer mm -hmm. so so no not any mixing or mastering like after in the 60s. just like in the 60s yeah. yeah yeah because they they try try to search for for the this the same kind of 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 atmosphere of of the recording because at that time you know there was only one big big microphone in the, in the middle of the studio and 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 if someone had had a, had a solo he 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 uh, 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 I mean that guy went uh, went closer and 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 then and 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 then step back yeah. because of the next solo right. so well, it's all that was totally natural <laughs>